It was a bold claim. When giving Heathrow expansion the go-ahead two years ago, the Transport Secretary insisted fewer people would be affected by noise afterwards. As five London councils line up to take the government to court next week, they've issued their own battle cry. Chris Grayling was either mistaken or being misleading. A three-runway Heathrow will see the number of flights here increase by about a third, going from just under 500,000 a year to around 740,000 a year. It means some parts of London which haven't experienced any kind of aircraft noise before could see up to 47 flights an hour passing overhead. These new maps published by Heathrow as part of its consultation show the size of the area affected. North, south, east and west London, even the outskirts, all would be under flight paths and likely to suffer some kind of noise disturbance. These particular maps show that that's covered by millions of people who are now going to be affected by you know, increased flights, flights which are giving them less respite. Um, this is a huge issue and either the Secretary of State didn't have the information available to him, in which case he made an unsound decision, or he had the information available to him and he misled people. The Department for Transport refutes the claim and Heathrow told us the expansion plans will guarantee predictable periods of respite for all communities which can't be achieved today. Yet still this row rumbles on. Just this week, anti-expansion protesters were evicted from a camp near the airport. And next Monday, this new evidence will be scrutinised at the High Court. So do you think this judicial review could bring a stop to all of this? This will stop the expansion of Heathrow Airport. As this hotspot map shows, London's airspace is already among the most complex and congested in the world. The arguments over adding to this are equally as complicated. Mark Ashdown, BBC London News.